What's going on guys, it's Lady B. I'm back with another sneak peek for the update to come. Today we're gonna take a look into one of the next super troops on board that we'll see with the spring update. So stay tuned and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you know when these updates and sneak peeks go live as well as some strategy guides. Yesterday was our introduction to the very first super troop, the Super Barbarian, and today we will be introduced to the second one, the Sneaky Goblin. Now we're gonna take a quick look through the Sneaky Goblin to see what he's about, and before we get into this quick shout out point, um, I am very sorry I didn't show the screen yesterday because this gives you a nice overview of what the actual cost is gonna be. It's not just the expense of making the troops you actually have to boost this this is going to cost fifty thousand to boost so keep that in mind if you're thinking of using sneaky goblins for farming with because um when it comes to dark you're going to have to make that up but it's a seven day boost so remember if you can make that up over time could be useful but this is going to be great in war strategies we'll take a look in gameplay um out how i think we will see this changing the game a little bit but we also have this try feature as well so we're going to take a look and see what they do but first let's talk about what they are so sneaky goblins have a talent going unnoticed for a while after being deployed hence the name sneaky and if you take a look, you can see that he has a special ability here, which is a cloak. So he's gonna go invisible to defenses for the first five seconds of deployment, which is actually great value because you sneak him in, kind of like the sneaky archer that we see over in Builder Hall. You're gonna give him some time to work his way in and go for loot. So let's take a look at his stats and see how he compares to a regular goblin. As we saw with the Super Barbarian, there was a huge buff in the DPS and the hit points compared to its counterpart. We're going to see the same for the Sneaky Goblin. Now, we have damage per second, which is 190. A regular Goblin is 62 DPS. So again, a big, big bump there. Hit points obviously going up, and this is going up almost three times. So 320 hit points for this Goblin. He is gonna be working faster. He's gonna be going longer, a little bit stronger. And the regular Goblin hit points are 126. So big difference there as well. Training cost goes up again, so if you're thinking of using these for going for loot, keep that in mind. This is gonna be 750 in Elixir, not to mention that original boost that you have to go for if you were looking to use it for dark Elixir farming. So it might not make too much sense for you on that front there. The training time is going to be 21 seconds, so this goes up um, three times from the regular Goblin, who is seven seconds training time, um, but the resource damage is actually exactly the same. He does two times resource damage, which his favorite target is those resources. That's what he's gonna go for. Housing space increases. A normal goblin is one housing space. We're gonna see the sneaky goblin at three housing space. So he takes up a little bit more here and his movement speed actually stays exactly the same, but you do get that special cloak ability. So you can drop him and get a little bit more value out of him as he goes unnoticed by the defenses. I do wanna show you a particular strategy that will likely come out of this super goblin it is going to be the super goblin blimp similar to a yeti blimp we're gonna see the super goblin being used before we get into what that looks like I want to show you this try feature which we didn't get a chance to look at yesterday with the super barbarian so when you do go into your boost you can actually try these units out click on it and we can take a look in this try feature we get to see what the sneaky goblin actually does and it's similar to our practice mode that we already have featured so you can you can play around with it where i think we'll see the most benefit to this super goblin is actually with the substitution of the Yeti blimp. So I think we'll see a surgence of Super Goblin blimps because the Super Goblin's target resources, the Town Hall is a key feature for them as we saw in that try feature. So it's needless to say that we could see this becoming super, super popular and replacing the Yeti blimp. The Sneaky Goblin will be available starting at Town Hall 11, and I want to know your thoughts, so make sure to get them in the comment section below. What do you think about the Sneaky Goblin? Is it something you're going to use? 
either for farming or to target those town halls because it does have that great ability as well. It is a little cost um, ineffective when it comes to going for dark elixir just because of the buyout for it. You're gonna be spending 50,000 in dark, so kind of keep that in mind. Goblin knife with this, super goblin knife. It's a thing, but it just might be a little bit too costly, though you do have a seven day boost. And I just want to clarify too that the Barbarian will be a $50,000 buy-in for this as well for the boost. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and get those notifications on because we have two more to go. This is two of four of our super troops that we've seen, so we've got more to come. Until next time, this is Lady B. I'll catch you guys later. Oh,